Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian. I'm back in the shave den, and this is a special shave, guys. This is a cool shave. As you know, the sign behind me with this advertisement that advertises Star Safety Razor, I actually came across a Star Safety Razor in one of my antique shops locally, and I picked up this. So this is not exactly like the razor that's pictured in this advertisement, but it's pretty close, but this is a Star Safety Razor, and I believe they call this the Cadet, and this was patented in 1912, so I got this from an antique shop. Uh, pretty good condition. Uh, really, really, everything works. It's a single edge razor. It loads up into this little head right here, so it kind of clicks open like that, and when you click it, when you click it open, it says right there, I'm not sure you guys can see it. It says Star Safety Razor made in USA. Right there engraved right inside there. And on the back it says Star also. And the pat, actually from, from what I found, I found, I couldn't find much information about this razor, but the patent is, is engraved right, where did I see that? I saw it right here somewhere. Right on the bottom of the handle right here, right actually bottom of the head, it says patented in 1912. Really hard to see, but it's there. So guys, I don't, don't know too much about this razor, but I know it followed after this one right here on this ad. And I believe this ad is around that time period, 19, early 1900s, uh, this Star Six Razor ad. But definitely excited about for this shave. And this is a, like I said, a single blade, a single blade edge razor. And I cleaned it up and polished it up so it looks a little bit more nicer. Definitely with the polish, the metal polish, it got a lot of the shyness back. There was a lot of grime that came off this razor when I first purchased, when I first picked it up from the antique shop. But man, it looks very nice now. So this will be my first shave with this razor. So I'm a little, little bit excited, a little bit of afraid actually, because it's a different. By looking at it, the the uh, compared to my gem uh, micromatic, the head is a little more steeper, so I have to go at a little bit steeper angle with this shave. So I'll be using this for my shave, guys. Hopefully this will go well. And for the blade, is I'm going to be using my CVS single edge blade. I believe these are gem razor blades, if I'm not mistaken, the single edge blades. But you can find these at CVS, so I'll be using this for my shave. And since this is an old school razor, I'm going old school soap. Uh, Moon Soaps, old school, great soap, great scent. Picked this up last year, and I just love this scent. I love this soap. Great performer. And for the brush, going old school also, with my rubber set, this is the... Uh, 183 vintage handle brush and what I have loaded into the brush in the handle is my Maggard's the Timberwolf knot synthetic knot so this is like a 22 millimeter knot a 22 20 24 I think I had to go a little bit smaller to put it into this into this acrylic handle this restored handle but nevertheless one of my favorite vintage brushes to use so this will be for my shave and since it's uh, playoff Sunday Got my Bucks shirt on. So seize the day. Hopefully the Bucks will win tonight against the New Orleans Saints. And hopefully third time's a charm. They got crushed the last time they played. They lost twice this season to the Saints. So hopefully third time's a charm. And I've never seen an NFL team lose three times to the same team in a season. So hopefully Brady will pull it out. This will be a charm. This will be a, um, a win for us tonight. Anyway, anyway, guys, got about a day and a half the growth of my face. So definitely ready for a shave and this little experiment with this razor. So let's take a, let's take a look, take a shave. Let me wash my face and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back to my shave. I used the Barbasol 1919 for a pre-shave. So I have, this, I have that on the face. Got my face fully hydrated and washed. And I got the brush loaded with the old school from Moon Soaps. So let's do that first pass here. So, a little bit of history about 
the Star Safety Razor Company, they actually started in 1875 by two brothers named uh, Frederick and Otto uh, Kempfe. And two there were two German brothers that came over from Germany uh, back in 18, I believe 1870. Uh, and they came over and settled in Brooklyn, New York. And they were both in the cutlery business. You know, they made knives and made all things cutlery and also made tools. And Frederick was a little bit frustrated with using a, a straight razor. So he, he took a, a straight razor, uh, broke off part of it, and put it in a uh, little frame and started making his own razors. You know, like a little safety razor type, type early version of that for his friends and family. And they actually started making, they actually formed their razor company called Star City Razor. And they started making safety razors in 1875. They applied for their first patent in 1880, uh, May of 1880. And on that patent was the first use ever of safety razor. So that's where, so that, they actually came up before Gillette. So they're, uh, they are technically the first safety razor company in the United States to come out way uh, right before Gillette. So I did a video about their their history back in one of my videos when I used this three piece of the razor by Star. So definitely check it out. I'll leave a link below if you want to watch that. But it's pretty pretty cool history. So their first city razor was called the Canfi Rake or Face Rake. So pretty cool history. They eventually, they they eventually merged with uh, Jim Razor, one of the guys that worked for Star Razor. After 23 years, I can't think of his name right off the bat, but he he was one of the one of the guys that worked with the brothers for 23 years. He left the company in uh, 19, I believe it was 19, I'm sorry, 1898, and started Jim Razor. And he eventually started another company called Ever Ready. I can't, I can't, I cannot remember his name off the bat, top of my head, but, but Ever Ready, Star Razor, and Jim merged in, I believe they, they all merged in 1919 to become the uh, company called American Safety Razor Company or Corporation. So, so that was the end of Star Safety Razor. But pretty cool company from their humble beginnings there. And so far, nice lather from, from the Moon Soap. This is a towel based soap, so I'm expecting nice lather from the soap. All right guys, so let's do that first pass with this Star Safety Razor. This pretty old looking razor here. Hopefully I get hopefully I get the angle right. So let's try this out. Hopefully I don't cut my face up. So very slick soap. Razor's doing a good job so far. So the angle's a little bit different. Definitely a little more steeper than my gem razors I, that I've used before. Yeah, definitely the head kind of tilts them more down, so. But still like a, it's similar to a gem razor, the way it shaves. But it's so amazing to be shaving with something that's made that's over a hundred years old. That is just so awesome. Alright, so first pass on the on my on the on my right side of my face is pretty good. So learning curve is easy with this razor, looks like. Like I said, this is the first time I ever used this razor, so. So I want to have a good pre-shave. Sorry guys, I'm turning the water on here for a second. I want to have a good pre-shave 
and some amazing uh, slick soap. So that's why I chose the uh, Barbasol 1919 Shave Cream and also the Moon Soaps. Old school. Yeah. Pretty nice shave so far. Wow. So, <laughs> this ad is pretty cool. I, I like the way this ad looks. It's it's it basically looks old school. I, I imagine it's from the 1900s early when this came out, but or actually before this came out. It's it, since that's the older razor, but you know it's got the Star Razor logo right there. Um, you know, vintage looking people shaving right there. This gentleman right here shaving with a shaving mirror. It's like a shaving stand. So pretty cool. But I was in an antique shop looking for, uh, you know, just look, you know, just walking around looking for stuff, you know, not just shaving stuff, but uh, you know, just um, I've been looking for a lamp, a few things, just interesting stuff. I use, I collect the uh, vintage toys also, just every once in a while I pick up a vintage toy, and I just saw having to see this razor there. Never seen a star razor before in an antique shop. They're actually kind of rare to find in the wild. So I was really excited to bring this home with me and <laughs> it didn't pay much for this. I, only got, I think I only got this for $10. I actually got the guy to give me for $10. So, it, I mean, cause it, was, it, was, it wasn't in quite and it's great a shape as right now after I, after I clean it up and shine it up, but uh, pretty good price for the razor and pretty cool piece of history. All right, guys, that's the first pass, and that went uh, surprisingly well. Nice and slick. Uh, this the razor did great. Got the angle correctly down, and once I got that down, it it took off the hair easily with with the slick soap. So, all right, guys, let me do it. Let me wash my face. For the second pass, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back for my second pass. And one thing I'm gonna point out that's pretty cool about this razor is, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but back here, these little slots are open there. So let me just actually let me take the blade out so I can show you. It's hard to see with the blade in there what I'm talking about. So anyway, these little open slots right here. As I'm shaving, I, I noticed that it pushed the lather back this way out, this way. So it definitely seems to be clog proof, which is a pretty cool touch. I'm not sure if that's the way they intended when they designed this razor, but uh, pretty cool, uh, ingenious design here because it does work. I, I didn't get any clogging issues with this razor with, with that first pass. So that's pretty cool, interesting design engineering here with this razor. So that's really cool about this. All right, guys, let's do that second pass here. Uh, second face leather. Uh, let me put a little bit more water on my face. All right. Yeah, I just need a little bit more water on this face with this soap. This soap's a little bit thirsty. But once you get the water ratio down with the uh, in the brush, you get some great, amazing lather as you face lather. As you can tell right now, ooh, let me get this soap from out of my gills here. Right here. Yeah, the soap is amazing. This scent it is one of my favorite scents to use.
The scent strength is probably about a seven. It's it's on the uh, strong side a little bit, but very pleasant. But the uh, scents, scent notes are tobacco, uh, vetiver, I believe, uh, l leather, mahogany, and also vanilla, which is a pretty cool mix of scents right there. Gives it a great, great tobacco uh, masculine scent, if that makes any sense. Yeah, but that was a nice, nice first pass with this razor and the soap. All right, guys. So anyway, this soap is actually, uh, the artisan is actually out of California, uh, Coralitos, and it's a couple artisans. It's actually, uh, I want to say it's Melody and Zach Kent, and they are the people behind Moon Soaps. So I'm going to do a little bit across the grain here. All right. But this soap is amazingly slick. Yeah, the blade angles are really easy to get to get used to once you once you dial it down. So I bought this soap because I was intrigued by the scents, the uh, scent notes, and also it was their first soap that they ever put out, their first shaving soap, moon soaps. Because Melody was making uh, bath soap, she was making other things, and her husband Zach, who was a butcher, which a lot of the soap, this beef tallow soap, he brings uh, his rendered beef home and puts it into the soap, into the uh, base. Anyway, he, uh, he wanted to make a shave soap since he was a wet shaver and decided to make one with his wife's help a little bit. So they came up with a scent for old school and a name. That's the first soap, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, you see that leather getting pushed out right there on the bottom? Pretty ingenious engineering right there. So, I can say they were probably, the Ke Keffy brothers were probably ahead of their time a little bit in engineering. But man, too bad that they, that that company evaporated into one big huge corporation, but Pretty cool history though. Yeah, nice slick soap. A uh, nice angle with the razor. It's working great with the shave. And guys, that is the second pass. Let me go and wash my face and be back for the uh, money pass against the green. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, back for my final pass, my final face leather here. All right. So the soap has beef tallow, I believe, also shea butter, uh, mango butter, and glycerin, so nice properties for slickness, so definitely, definitely has the sl slickness in the soap, but the tallow makes it lather, excellent, so. I actually have another moon soaps coming my way in the mail, uh, hopefully in the next two weeks or so. Hopefully it should be here, which I'll be doing a review on also. But I like their soap so much, I bought another one, another set of their soap. All right, that should be good for another pass. 
So this will be a, the against the grain, the money pass. That's what they call it in the wet shaving community. <laughs> when you hit that, when you go against the grain, get that nice last pass to get that BBS shave. And I'm not sure who I'm not sure who came up with that money pass uh, that term. It might it might have been Anthony Esposito with his straight razor shaving. I know he does a lot when he goes against the grain with his straight razor. He calls it the money pass. So I don't know if he came up with it, but I like it though. <laughs> yeah, this is working great. This is probably becoming one of my favorites. <laughs> Surprisingly, one of my favorite uh, single edge razors to use. Once you get that blade angle right, and way, the way it doesn't clog, it, this, is, this is actually a great shave. So this is called the, I believe, I, I did some research on this razor. I want to say they call it the Cadet Star Safety Razor. And these were being maybe right before they made their three-piece safety razor with the, with the double, you know, double-edged blades. Which I did a, a shave video on that razor. And very underrated razor. That one is that one is actually shaved just like a Gillette Tech, in my opinion. Probably a little bit better. For some reason, you can find a lot of those on different online sites. You can find those in antique shops. The Star Set Razor, the one that comes in the three piece with the double edged blades. You can find that one pretty frequently. But something like this, the single edge, is kind of hard to find. All right, a little bit more soap underneath the gills. And I would call it a day with this shave, this excellent shave. Hope you guys are doing well this weekend. It was a beautiful weekend here in Florida, nice and cool. Though actually the weather was pretty cool. It was like down in the 50s, the highs for us, but uh, nice and sunny though. I was enjoying watching the football games this weekend. A lot of great football going going on this weekend, and it's coming down to a n guys. So we'll have a Super Bowl champion in, in a few weeks from now, and it's going to be interesting who, who that who that will be. All right, guys, that's a, that's the last part of the shave. That's actually that's that's the last pass. Great great shave, man. That is nice and smooth, <laughs> baby bomb smooth. Like yeah, that is very very smooth. Just a little bit of stubble right here, but. Everything else is nice and smooth. That's a great, great shave. All right, guys, let me go ahead and rinse my face, and I'll be back for the post shave. All right, guys, back for my post shave. So I'll be using the post shave after shave balm that goes with the soap, uh, Moon Soaps Old School. I'm gonna shake this up, and this is a really nice light uh, post shave balm from what I, from what I remembered, and it does come out come it comes in a glass bottle, which is really nice too. Nice touch. All right, it's a little bit of my face here. Yeah, it has that nice tobacco, vanilla, sweet tobacco scent. Very nice. Do a little bit more on this side here. That should be good right there.
Yeah, very nice shave. I'm surprised how good that razor shave. No nicks, very smooth. Like my face is so smooth right now, it's, there's no stubble except right into my chin right here, which I always get with any razor, but that is an absolutely great shave. Actually, I was thinking it might be, would be pretty cool to come out with a razor, a modern razor, a modern version of this razor, the Star Razor that I just used. As recap, I used the Star Seal Edge Safety Razor. This is called the Cadet, I believe, 1912 patented great razor. This came out a little bit after this one did on this ad. And all I can say, it was this nice smooth shaver. Different, uh, different looking uh, blade angle, but once you get used to it, it delivers a great shave. And I just love the way those little channels in there kind of push out the lather from the bottom. And I didn't get any clogs or nothing from this razor. So great razor for the shave. I used to use my, my rubber set 183 brush with the Timberwolf knot from Maggard's. Great, great brush. One of my favorite brushes to use, vintage brushes to use. I used my Moon Soaps. Old school. My Talon Bay Soap. This is a great soap. Great artisan. If you haven't tried any, any of their soaps, I would highly recommend trying one of their soaps. Very, very great. Great slickness. Great lather. I mean, just a pleasant shave with this. And I also used the post shave, which was the aftershave bomb. And last but least, very, very surprised about how these how good these blades are from, from CVS. These are called the blade, single edge blade. There's no name on them, I think they're just called CVS blades, but very underrated blade. I got I got great shades from this on my gem razor and also for this star razor. So I don't know who makes these, but these are great blades. I know they're made in USA. So probably made by gem, I'm I'm thinking. But anyway, guys, that's my shave. You guys, hope you guys have a good weekend. Hope you guys stay safe out there. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the Sunday. And for me, I'm hoping my bucks will win today. So go bucks. Hope you guys enjoy your week. Enjoy your shaves. Take care.